What's up my Vena loves, it's Miss Vena D coming to you all from Vena Entertainment News. So quickly, um, most of you when you see the bonus episode and you come and you watch the bonus episode, if it's about the other guy or this one right here, some of you get really upset. I do want to say that I love Rachel and Brian. Um, I have an entire playlist dedicated to Rachel and Brian. I love their love and I love what they represent, but the channel name is Vena Entertainment News. What that means is that I report news period, whether it's serious news, funny news, entertainment news, bachelor nation news, that's what I do. So it's not a dedicated Brian and Rachel channel, but what I have done, because a lot of you support R and B is I have created a playlist just for them. So whenever I do an actual episode, the episode is always dedicated to Brian and Rachel only. I don't include anybody else in there. But when I do bonus episodes, those bonus episodes is about anything that's going on within the franchise that I find either interesting or that I feel like I want to voice my opinion on. And this right here is one of those situations. So if the bonus episode sometimes upset you because it's not about brian and rachel and i'm talking about other people you know just skip it and go to the playlist and watch those beautiful episodes that i've up you know loaded about our amazing couple um this one however comes from someone who's been very disrespectful towards rachel so let's go ahead and jump right into the title and seeking a second chance or whatever i have written the title so um he went you know, it was a slow, slow news day. No one cared anymore. The little 50 minutes of fame is dying down. No one is talking. So, hey, um, let me go ahead and find a, a topic that I can post on here that's going to make people excited and, you know, get me posted on a YouTube channel or, you know, bring engagement to my channel because right now it's dead. So, of course, what does he do? And anything that's connected to Rachel and Brian or the Korean chick, which I'm going to get into, that's what he's going to lean towards. So he posted this from the epic image from the show when he turned around and found out, you know, his ex was there and spilling all that good tea. <laughs> and then he posted himself in a suit. Now, what is that saying? You can put a lipstick on the pig instead of pig, whatever the saying is. Just because you throw a suit on and clean up does not mean that you're a changed person. Your actions show. So this is what he wrote. Transformation Tuesday from F-boy to F-boyish. I've learned a lot from my mistakes. I'm still a work in progress and I have a long way to go. However, shout out to witnessing my personal growth and smiling remember that life is about balancing the highs and lows so continue to work on yourself and only compare yourself to who you are and who you want to be and then read the you know hashtags and whatever so this is my thing you can't claim that you've made mistakes and you're trying to change but then every chance you get you disrespect the only person who's done nothing to you. Nothing compared to what happened on Bachelor in Paradise. Let's talk about Bachelor in Paradise for a second. Um, when the whole situation happened between DiMario, yes, I'm going to say his name, and a Korean chick, um, Corinne was embarrassed, okay? As a woman, she was embarrassed. She was embarrassed that her actions would be judged. She was embarrassed that, you know, she was going to be on national television and within seconds of meeting a completely strange guy, she was already in the pool with him, dunking him down and doing whatever else she was doing. You know, she was embarrassed. In as much as I'm coming from the space of you are an adult, do you? I'm not here to, you know, judge you, but she knows that America was going to judge her and throw all types of insulting name her way. So how do I say face, especially for someone who was in a relationship, right? So how do I say face, you know, hey, I'm young. I got on the show. I was drinking. I got excited and something happened and I am embarrassed my, about my behavior, but I was having fun. Let's move on. But instead of doing that, she attempted to bury this guy. Her statement was, I am a victim and have spent the last week trying to make sense of what happened. 
the night on June 4th. Although I have little memory of that night, something bad obviously took place, which I understand is why production on the show has now been suspended and a producer on the show has filed a complaint against the production. As a woman, this is my wife's nightmare and it has now become my reality. As I pursue the details and facts surrounding that night and the immediate days after, I have retained a group of professionals to ensure that what happened on June 4th comes to light and I can continue my life, including hiring an attorney to obtain justice. Yep, she used the word justice and seeking therapy to begin dealing with the physical and emotional trauma stemming from that evening. Okay. Those were her words, talking about justice and all of these things. Now, imagine, just imagine if this wasn't on camera. This black man, yes, I'm gonna throw the raise in it because he always bring it up when he talks about Rachel. This black man would have been buried, okay? Literally buried, whatever little career he was trying to have done over with. This was this lady common. Now that the producers and the production came out and said, absolutely not. She's a grown woman. She came over here behaving whatever way she wanted to behave. She jumped in the pool. She did her thing. And now she's trying to flip this on us. Absolutely not. We would never do anything. You know what I'm saying? They basically took his side and said, we have tape to prove that she willingly did these things and all of those things. Next thing you know, the case is done. There's no case, basically. You know, the show is back on air. You know, she's on ABC having a conversation. Both of them have their separate interviews. Then both of them have their interviews together. Then they are seen out together and all of these different things. And then recently, they were at a um, Halloween uh, party thrown by the magazine. Was it Maxim? Whatever magazine it was. There they are. And this image right here also um, got the most comments. But the one that got the most comment on his page was when he went after Rachel. Now, yeah, but then to post that you're a change, but every chance he gets after this post, he's still disrespecting Rachel. So most of you remember the post with the most views on his page is this one right here. So far, 2,106 comments. The post he did on September 2nd, where Rachel saw some of her friends in the club with him, dancing with him, partying. You know, he gets that. You, you can't be my friend rocking with a dude like that, especially if he have not apologized to me. Like, no, you're canceled. So, <laughs> so she went ahead and posted a tweet. I did a whole episode on it. Go ahead and find that episode where Demaria is on the thumbnail crying and Rachel is on the thumbnail crying. I might use that same thumbnail, I don't know. But go ahead and um, watch that episode. So, you know, it was a slow news day, you know, for him, no one cared again. So, hey, how do I get myself in the blogs and get some attention on myself again? Because this little theme I got is very addicting. So he went ahead and posted this right here. You know, the part that really got me in this post, he posted exactly what Rachel wrote in her tweet, but then he, his last lines, hopefully that someone will find real love in paradise next year and stop being petty on social networks. The fact that one, you disrespect her, then two, you talk about her relationship is not gonna last and she's gonna end up on Bachelor in Paradise. Like how rude. If this change she's talking about was so big and major and he wasn't just doing this for fame and desperate for people to come back on his page and make comments because people who are desperate for fame oh they would do anything it's like it's like a, a drug you know they would do anything for it so why is this post still up why wasn't it deleted why why couldn't you step outside and, and so you know what this girl is engaged she looks happy she looks in love i was wrong for wishing that on her relationship. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. As long as that post is still up, that just shows me personally that it was his most like um, post on Instagram, the most posts 
with the most comments I mean engagement on anything on his page so of course it's gonna keep it up because based on that and other things lead to you getting the blue verified check mark if it wasn't for fame and the check mark and him feeling like he was someone important that post would have been deleted and taken down so this whole thing about oh I'm changed or I'm a work in practice or all of that yeah whatever save that you know but anyways like I said I'm not saying that people don't change that Brian please you see this picture right here with all of them and they all commenting and stuff like that when y'all move, like Brian's gonna hear me, but I'm gonna give my, <laughs> leave my message anyways. When y'all move to LA, please be careful, okay? Cause Brian, oh Brian, I was sweet Brian. He's so sweet, he's so innocent, he's so loving, he's so perfect, yes, he's, of course, he's not perfect, I'm just joking, but he's just a positive person that I wouldn't be surprised to see a picture like this with Brian in the middle. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. I'm just saying, my dude, yes, be careful. Keep your eye open them. So whether this is whoever that sent me the DM and wanted my review on this, I really don't care, but I love you guys. So whenever you send me something and say, hey, Vina, I wanna hear your input on this, unless it's something completely disgusting gonna question my character i won't do it but to talk about if timario post about him changing with honest or not uh, yeah i'll do it it's not going <laughs> talking about him or whatever i'm not I'm still being positive i'm not you know cursing i'm not degrading brian and rachel anyway so of course so to a few of you who send this to me yes people can change is he no no, until he take that post down or sit down on Dean podcast and apologize for his behavior, whatever the case might be, then yeah, until he stopped wearing the shirts that point towards, there's a shirt he was seen wearing that says something about being desperate for a ring, like on those shirts, inspect them. So whether he's changed or not, we will see. I could, you know what I'm saying? I could care less because Richard and Brian are in paradise living their best life enjoying they're not thinking about these people but hey it's my job to talk about it if you bring it to my attention so do i think that he's changed no is change possible absolutely and you know when his apology come and i find like and i and i feel like it's sincere and genuine then maybe i'll change my mind until i mean he admitted it in his caption he's still f boyish that means he's not completely clean of being that and as he said he's growing kudos to his growth and we'll see what happens so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here my vina loves i'm wishing you all an amazing day remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless